and welcome to another tutorial. Today we're going to talk about translating dynamic or variable content using Translate Press. There are two situations where dynamic based content is used on a website. There might be instances where different user roles see different content on a certain page or when you need to do a certain action to see specific content. So let's start with the first one. The best example here is the login page of any site. Logged out users will see a login form, while for the users that have already logged in, the form will not be displayed. They'll most probably see a log out button instead. Now, most themes come with multiple languages right from the start, meaning that some of the default strings, such as login button or default form fields, will be automatically translated when you add a secondary language. However, there might be cases when the specific language you're looking for is not available for your theme or when you'd like to modify the original translation. But how do you access that specific content when you can't see it in the live preview? Well, let's take this basic login page as an example today. At first glance, when you open the translation editor from the translate page button in the admin bar, you'll see the page as it appears to the logged in user since you have to be logged into your website to use translate press. But if you look closely, you'll notice the view as section in the translation sidebar. Here you can choose if you want to preview the page as it is displayed for non-logged in users as well. Now you can simply select any string visible on your preview and translate it just like you would any other piece of content. I'm sure you'll notice that there's an extra from original string field, plus in my case two more language fields right below. This is because GetText implementation doesn't allow you to define the language that the strings are written in. But a cool little side effect of this is that you can even change the original string by quote-unquote translating it into the default language. Now to take it even further, if your website has multiple user roles and displays different content for each of them, you can enable the Browse's User Role Pro add-on from the add-ons tab and then you'll be able to also preview your page as any other user role on your site and translate any dynamic based content from there. Keep in mind that in order to use this add-on though, you'll have to purchase a pro license of Translate Press. Now if you want to translate dynamically added strings that only appear after the user has done a specific action, things are a little different. So to show you how to do this, I'm going to actually trigger a specific string to appear. First, I'm going to go to one of my products page from the front end and open the translation editor. In the live preview, I'm now going to add a product to the cart, thus triggering the view cart button to appear. As you can see, I can now simply select this string and translate it in the sidebar. And that's it! You now know how to translate any variable or dynamic content on your website using Translate Press. For more information, you can check the documentation I've linked in the description. And for more useful WordPress tutorials, you can subscribe to our channel. Also, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching!